It's time to commit. It's time to commit. If you are going to build this hall, Dr. Wimba, it's going to take commitment. If you are going to build our families, it's going to take commitment. If you are going to build ourselves, it's going to take commitment. If you are going to build the church, it's going to take commitment. If we are going to build the conference, it's going to take commitment. If we are going to build our communities, it's going to take commitment. Someone said, like Margaret Mead said, never underestimate the ability of a group of committed people to change the world. It, commitment, is the only thing that has changed the world. And so, if you feel moved to share a testimony, right now, we're going to give you an opportunity to speak out in favor of the Lord. <coughs> Stephen Covey, in his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, makes this statement in the chapter, Begin with the End in Mind. fact, he relates the story and, and he says, imagine, imagine you are at a funeral and, and, and you move uh, closer, closer to the coffin slowly as people uh, move to the coffin and, and, you, and, and you move with them and, and, and as they move, you move and, and, and when, you, when you get to the front, you it's your turn uh, to pay your last respect. And he says, when you look down into the coffin, you see yourself. What do you want people to say about you? What do you want people to say about you? And you have to begin now. Begin now. Be committed now to what people want must say about you. What God says about you. Now, you have to begin with the end in mind. And we know what our end is. But you know what? Sad thing is, not all of us will be saved. We have, be, we have to be committed to it. Committed to thinking differently. Committed to be, being influenced by the Holy Spirit. Committed to be making a difference. And committed to be happening. Committed to it. And commitment begins with what? Thinking. That's how commitment begins. You make the choice to be committed. And then you do whatever is necessary to remain committed. Step out. Step on. Step away. Anybody here who would like to share a testimony before we close in prayer? I think if you want to share a testimony, maybe just move forward. Uh, good morning, everyone. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So this weekend was very powerful and was a blessed experience. And I was thinking of the quotation in the book Adventist Dome, where Ellen White speaks of, that society is composed of families and is what the heads of the family yeah. makes of it. And so it was really powerful for um, Pastor Jean for organizing the event with all the, the speakers as well by basically equipping us with the knowledge because at the end of the day if we read Ellen White as well she says that true education is religion and so when God made us and Pastor was speaking about it as well when God created us he, it was part of his plan that we as human <laughs> beings must grow throughout eternity because God's plan for us was eternal and God, when God made us 
he made us to develop mentally, physically, as well as spiritually. And if we look at the example of Daniel as well, is that Daniel was a, a man that he tried his utmost best to develop and work on his mental, physical, as well as the spiritual powers. So we can't just focus on the spiritual, but as well as on the mental and the physical development. Because in the Garden of Eden, the Garden of Eden was the first school for us as human beings. It was the first school. And God himself was the teacher. We were the students, specifically now Adam and Eve. And nature was the lesson book. And, and as the pastor was speaking as well about the universe and about science and Isaac Newton and all these great people uh, that develop now the mental powers. Um, if we read at the end of the book three education, like uh, basically it says when God is going to restore everything in this whole world, when he's going to restore everything, then it says that heaven will be our school and the universe will be our field of study. God himself the teacher and we're going to be the human beings. So God is going to, God wants us all to be saved. God wants us all. But the most important work, as it says as well, that character building is the most important work that God has entrusted to us as human beings. So our characters must uh, reflect the character of God because ultimately the main goal, as it says in education, page 18, paragraph 1, it says, Godliness, Godlikeness, that is the goal to be reached. Oh, yeah. And so thank you everyone. Uh, may God bless you all.